Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to record um, and set up an auto webinar using OBS. Um, so just a quick heads up, there's going to be some stuff where you're seeing me on OBS and my screen at the same time, so there's going to be some weird stuff looking, but please just follow along as best as you can and we will dive right in. So, to start, I'm going to pull up our, um, so here's the desktop, and so to start we have to put together our slides. And the important thing is that we want, uh, so you can see my mouse here, so this is the border of the real one. Uh, we're, we are going to pull up our slides. Um, for this example, I am going to use um, Keynote, but you can use Slideshow, or you can use PowerPoint, you can use Google Slides, it doesn't matter. The only important thing is that you can export as images. So, this is not a real webinar. Just a couple of slides so you get an idea. Here's my auto webinar. And I'm going to go up to file. Um, this is probably very similar across um, different different slide deck platforms. So export to images. And I'm going to leave it as images. Um, hopefully your slides aren't incredibly complex, but if they are, um, you know, you can change sizes, but I usually leave JPEG high quality and then Next, um, webinar slides, and I'm just going to save it to desktop. You save it wherever you want, um, and then that's exported there. And then, so then we are done with our presentation. So let's go back over to, um, let's go back over to OBS. You can see over here, this is where my webinar slides saved. And now in OBS, we have to upload our slides. So we're going to start, go into our sources. And we're going to add a new source um, and look very carefully, but the source is going to be image slideshow and select that there. You can call it whatever you want, image slideshow. And so hopefully you can see that. Um, properties for image slideshow, um, always play, you are not visible, slide mode. Um, I always, always go to manual because I want to control it while I'm speaking. Um, you can fade. I like cut. It's just very, very clean. Um, transition times, you don't need to worry about too much. Um, loop, whatnot. So then image files down here. <clears throat> I'm just going through the important things. If you're techie and you like all this other stuff, go for it. But for a simple webinar slides, this is all that really matters. So image files, we need to click the plus because we're going to um, add files and then we'll go to wherever they're saved and I'm just going to highlight them all and add them all at once. So go ahead and open and then there you go. You see them all in there. You can go back and check your settings um, manual. I'll show you how to set up your hotkeys in a second. Um, manual. I like cut because it's smoother, it's faster, it's cleaner. Um, and then go ahead and click okay um, so now they are obviously quite large here um, and depending on what you're doing most of the time the slides just fill up the whole screen so drag those around um, drag those around there let's see so hopefully you can see some of this and so there's a display capture uh, we're going to image slideshow and boom, when you do that, um, when you push the image slideshow, follow that, go up to the top, boom, there you go. Full screen, auto webinar, and that's what's recording. So that's what I would be doing for you. I'm going to go back to display capture so you can see. Um, but that's how it looks like to the end user, and you can still hear it. So now what we're going to do is go over here to settings. And you can see... Um, you can see my screen here. So when we're in the settings menu, you go over to hot keys on the left and scroll down, down um, into image slideshow. You can see that right there. And then you choose. I just like right arrow for next slide, left arrow for, for previous slide, and that usually is just fine. Um, so I'm going to smash OK right there. Um, and then uh, you can't see this, but now watch my mouse as soon as I hit the image slideshow and gonna pull that back up to the top there you go I'm gonna shrink that so you can see the rest of my stuff as long as you keep the image 
the slideshow full. That's what they will keep seeing. Um, and then all I'm going to do is make sure image slideshow is highlighted. I, you could probably do it with others. Yeah, there you go. So it doesn't really matter where you're at. And then I'm just using my right right arrow, left arrow, and it's scrolling through slides for me. So I'll, I'll start here on slide number one and then hit start recording and then welcome everybody if you have music or whatever it is. Um, welcome everybody, yada yada, thanks so much for tuning into my webinar. Um, today we're going to talk, cover um, you know, the three best ways to make an auto webinar, yada yada yada. And um, there you have it. And as soon as you're done, hit stop recording right there. And that is going to export your video file into whatever you have set up. If you're on a Mac, it's usually the movie file. Um, all that good stuff. So it is as easy as that. So this is your first auto webinar. There's a few other tools that you're going to need. I'm going to go ahead and, and move um, video capture up to the top there. So there's a few other things that you'll need um, to do an auto webinar. I'm going to leave a bunch of resources in the description. Um, but if it's your first one, I'm going to refer a book to you called Expert Secrets. And it will give you the perfect webinar script that I highly recommend if you are trying to sell something at the end, if you are just teaching, um, that is totally fine. You don't need to um, use that as closely, but there's some great ideas in there that you should use. Expert Secrets is going to get you the perfect webinar script. I'm also going to refer in the in the description below, um, ClickFunnels. I think it is the best platform for webinar registrations and running your auto webinar. And if you want to throw in a sales page, if you're selling something, it's perfect. It all perfectly integrates and you need all of it to be able to absolutely crush it from registration to a tripwire or a self-liquidating offer through your through your webinar, your sales page, your upsells. Um, that's why I use ClickFunnels for all that, so I'm going to leave a link for you in the description for that as well. And as usual, if you have any questions about anything we've covered in here, you know, it's a little bit confusing um, seeing all the different screens going on all at once, but as usual, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and if you appreciated this and found this valuable, hit that like button. And on your way out, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get constant updates of fantastic and helpful content. Um, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. So until next time, happy marketing, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.